Okay, so we'll continue on talking about the subdivisional modeling stuff, because we got a little sidetrack on the normals, but it was a good sidetrack, I think. With uh, these subdivision subdivisional modeling things, you can do some really awesome stuff, though. Uh, I'm going to come into here, convert this to an edible poly. Come back under here. Okay, so let's say you want to add um, a bolt. You have a surface or you're going to be using some floating geometry. For those of you who don't know what floating geometry is, we're going to go over that. Um, you want to build a normal map for this, so I'll show you how to build a circle really quick. Okay, so we can chamfer that, which is actually probably plenty of geometry there for us to subdivide this, so I'll show you. Turbo smooth that. Okay. And I'm going to bevel this guy right on down so we can see this thing happening kind of in real time. So we have the nice little bevel happening here, okay? And again, if I want to increase the hardness of any of these edges, all i got to do is add a swift loop or an extra edge um, to any of this stuff, and it's going to start to harden these edges. Sometimes it's easier to do it at the within the lower poly object. And we can keep on going. So one of the things that you will notice as this continually progresses on is that this thing can eventually not be totally circular, which kind of sucks, and that's only because we're using four points. So how do we fix that? I'm about to show you. Um, we want this thing to basically connect out here with these edges. Let's see this? Doo -doo -doo. And I'm just using connect, um, selecting these edges. Connect, I have connect bound to a hotkey for uh, you non-Max users, or for you Max users. Okay, so nothing's happened here yet with these edges. Okay, we haven't, all we've done is we've added, uh, I'll go down just a couple subdivisions lower so you can see it. We just added this edge loop here. Okay, and that's just kind of strengthened the original pull. So now what I want to do is I want to go, hmm, I'm going to go 3ds max. I want this thing to be a circle. Okay, so I can grab this. I can come under here, loop tools, circle. Okay, and we'll do that for each of the. You would do this for each of the objects. So I wonder if it's going to freak out if I try and do multiple ones at the same time. Let's find out. Oh, it did it. It's getting. It's getting real. It's getting 3D. But by the way, in this class, you're going to hear so many bad jokes. Um, so I hope you're, hope you're ready for that. Um, now when we get to an object like this, um, come under here and just hit GeoPoly for that. There's also a million and one subdivision techniques out there. Um, there's some really talented artists that do some really nice subdivisional work. Paul Prepera, Grant Warwick, um, Kevin Johnson does some really awesome stuff. Um, I typically follow under this methodology of using some sub D work um, in some uh, just hard surface normal maps or hard surface modeling. If it's going into a game, I try to avoid using normal maps unless it's for like my little bolts and greebly details. And we're going to keep increasing some of this stuff just so you can kind of see um, what these normal maps and stuff will look like. Or not normal maps, but the, the subdivision surfaces will start to look like the more complicated the objects get. Um, so this is really just to kind of warm you guys up into some modeling techniques and give you guys some things to think about. Okay, do do do. Pull you out. Okay, so we got that. That's really nice. And turbo smooth you. Okay, so now let's actually do this. So this thing can. We're gonna collapse you. There we go. I want the line to be nice and straight, just for the sake of the demo. 
sometimes you don't want that, but whatever we do for this. And again, where I put this line defines the tension of this top edge. So, you know, bear that in mind. Okay. And again, the higher the subdivision, the title, the cleaner, I don't want to say tighter, but tightness does occur when this happens, but it's kind of the more refined the, the uh, subdivision becomes, the more I add into it.